Yo, Don Squad in the house. Stand awesome. <laughs> All right. Do a review on The Walking Dead Beyond World. All right. And let's start off with the title. I'm not too. I'm not. I don't think it's a good title for this new television show. Because every time I, I think of the name, The Walking Dead, Beyond Worlds, I just got this song memorized in the back of my head that I just can't get out. And it's that song called, A Whole New World, A Whole New World Out There. I just don't like the title, okay? I'm not a fan of the title. I think that's... That should be a working title in progress, okay? They should have it laminated on the television screen. Walking Dead, Beyond Worlds, and have a disclaimer at the bottom. Working title in progress. So I'm not too fond of the title. What? Why? I'm gonna let you guys know. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! So if you haven't, if you haven't seen any of the episodes, okay, if you one of those type of brothers and sisters that wait until everything is finished and then you watch the season, then you might want to bypass this episode, right? So I'm giving you a count of three. Three, two, one. Younger cast. And I I don't like the, the main characters. I don't like any of them. It's not the fact that I hate them. They're just not... You know, you don't want to necessarily follow their storyline. And I, the Walking Dead World Beyond is like, it's like several different shows and movies that they took stolen ideals from, okay? Uh, obviously, The Walking Dead, the original one, the OG one, all right? Uh, they also... Uh, took some uh, took some ideals from the fear of the Walking Dead. Uh, they also took some ideals of Lost on how they set up the backstories. All right, because when when I was watching these episodes, it kind of harbored me back to Lost on how they introduce the character and they talk about the character uh, and uh, the responsibilities of this character in present day, but. Every character, the four main characters, which is four main characters, uh, and uh, they have backstories. And they have backstories that they don't know as of right now, but as the viewer, you get a glimpse that all these backstories and these characters are connected, and they don't know, they think they're connected because they went to school together, right? So basically, World Beyond, uh, there's, they're bringing back civilization in the Walking Dead universe, all right? And uh, they don't really give you a time frame. Is this before? Definitely, it, it should be after the original OG Walking Dead. Because even the OG Walking Dead, like the last couple of seasons, they're talking about bringing back uh, civilization. They look like they don't found civilization. But that's another topic for another video, all right? So... They're bringing back uh, civilization. So obviously, and the fear of the Walking Dead, they keep going back and forth. That's another time for another video, but oh, uh, this uh, Beyond Worlds, a whole new world. I don't know why I'm sick. I don't know why that song is creeping in my membrane. A whole new world. Basically, these characters, they all went to this universe, all right? And they're bringing back civilization. Right, and uh, you know, and during this time, they had to make sacrifices in this world, well, in this universe. Okay, so all the brightest minds are have been taken from these towns, and we don't know how many towns it is. All right, uh, I know for a fact there are two towns as of right now. All right, there could be more. So they're taking all the brightest individuals, all the brightest man, the minds, professors. Professors, teachers, engineers, and they're uh, taking them from these small towns and um, helping them in New York. 
I believe it's New York, all right? Because they talk about New York, all right? So all of them are there. And the two girls, one Ebony and one Ivory, Ebony and Ivory live together in perfect harmony. Side by okay, okay, so I'm making this video way too long. These two girls, uh, they have a mother, and the uh, Ebony girl is, well, the black girl, she's the biological daughter of this mother. And the uh, uh, the, the skinny little, uh, skinny little mean white girl, she's, uh, which they haven't explained how uh, she's a sister to her as well. They dabble into it, but they don't fully go into it, okay? So they're sisters. Their mother passed away, all right? So she never witnessed or even knew how her mother passed away. She knows, okay? And uh, she's sort of keeping it a secret uh, from her. So they talk about uh, this, uh, they, they talk about this girl and she knows what happened to the biological mother, uh, how, how, she, how she passed away, how she died, all right? And apparently she died uh, because uh, they were trying to uh, find uh, the other family members and they're, they're trapped in this burning. It looked like it's a plane. I don't know what happened. Maybe they was at a football game and a plane fell down, whatever the case may be. We, we don't even know the, 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 the levels on that. So basically, she, um, she witnessed this and there was a lady and the lady uh, and they saw a truck. So a late, so they was going, they was approaching the truck. The lady uh, intervened them, and she had a gun, and uh, she uh, basically uh, was telling them, "I need this truck, okay?" Because uh, you know she's trying to find her family too. So uh, the the mother on the other side, the uh, the one who's uh, who's a biological mother to the black girl that's the main character of this uh, television show as well as her her friend now she, all of a sudden she somehow that's her sister don't know how that's going to play out but basically she was there with them and she witnessed this all right so basically uh the the girl uh basically uh told them they couldn't have a truck so an argument happens, uh, the, the white girl, the young white girl approaches the lady with the gun, the lady, the gun goes off. You think that uh, uh, the lady shot the, 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 the young girl, but no, she, she shot the bi biological mother, all right? So she dies, okay? And uh, she, that haunts her because she feels like it was her fault, all right? And then uh, what makes matter work, what makes this story even more complex, she grabs the gun and shoot the lady that had the gun and come to find out the lady dies and now, but she's pregnant and you don't even know that because the way how they had things angled and stuff. So you don't even know that. So, and that, uh, that sort of haunts her and she has nightmares about it and she kind of keeps it to herself. She don't tell her, her, uh, her sister about it and... So that haunts her, and uh, that's night, you know, she, she's having daily nightmares about it. Meanwhile, the Ebony girl, uh, she uh, she basically having nightmares that's haunting her. And her nightmares uh, are her mother. And she, in, in her dream, she believes her mother is a zombie, which she probably is a zombie in this post-apocalyptic world, all right? So, uh, basically, basically, that's their storyline, and that's how they are, are c connected together, all right? So, there's this heavyset fat boy, all right, uh, he, uh, and he looks like he's special needs, all right? And uh, he has a connection with uh, the two girls, and, um, you know, uh, his, his backstory was something tragic happened uh, in his life, and it seems like it, it happened before the sky fall. And they're talking about how the sky fall, how 
you know, civilization as they once knew it uh, disappeared because of the virus and everybody's turning into zombies and things of that nature. And this has been talked about since the OG Walking Dead, Fear of the Walking Dead, the comic books, the novels. Okay, so this has been discussed and talked about, all right? So, apparently something that happened in his, uh, in his childhood where uh, all you see is flashbacks of him uh, with blood on his hands and him hitting somebody. So we don't know. So apparently his uncle takes care of him in this new world because uh, he done lost his parents, all right? So, and he's a loner and he listens to this Walkman, all right? So at first, I didn't put two and two together, but then I started uh, thinking, I started saying, okay, so, He's always got these Walkmans on on his head, and and and, his, and, and you know, and you know, in a lot of the scenes, he's listening to music. A lot of the scenes, he's listening to old convers recorded conversations from his parents. Okay, and it's just fragments of those conversations. You can't really piece them together to figure out why did they uh, leave him a voice a conversation. All right. So that's going on. So he has his own story. And that's how he's connected to the two girls. Meanwhile, they they got this little short Lex Luthor looking boy. And he's this bright mind. And he wants to know, he's trying to piece together what happened to his family. Well, his mama, and she was a scientist, and he's going to, and she was doing research on something, and he's spending his whole, whole child life continu continuing the saga on her research, all right? And now, uh, you know, he's connected to them because he goes to school together. Little does he know, uh, he has flashbacks about his mother. And now, come to find out, during a couple of episodes later, found out that, you remember the girl I was telling you about that shot the pregnant woman? Well, the pregnant woman was his mother, Lex Luthor, skinny looking boy. His mama, uh, got shot by the girl, but he doesn't know that yet, and she doesn't know that yet, all right? So, they're connected, uh, you know, they're connected, they have history on the, uh, uh, in this little town, because they all go to school together, and they're also connected, uh, in the past, but nobody knows this, and nobody's not really piecing, uh, stuff together. Meanwhile, you got this guy who's the guardian of the two girls, and they go into his, and they keep flashing back and forth, you know, before he was the guardian of the girls and security guard of the town. Come to find out, he, he you know, he was, he was gay. His family didn't respect it, well, mostly his father didn't respect it. He kicked them out, all right? So, basically, uh, basically, uh, he's got that story in the back, okay? But they haven't tied his past to the kids' past, but he's connected to the kids because of the, the two girls. The father, the scientist, went off to uh, to New York because uh, this other this other group just purged all the bright minds from town to town to town. They all go to New York, all right? So, now this girl, all right, so the, 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 the girl's father made this device where he can communicate with them without anyone knowing. So he sent a uh, message and he only had a few words, all right? And basically you can imply that they're in danger wherever they're at. And now the four kids, you know, for the first couple of episodes, go on this journey, okay? so. If I'm paying attention to this, they're in Seattle, and all these bright minds are in New York. I don't know about you guys, but Seattle to New York, that's some distance, all right? Uh, it's some distance in a car. These fools are walking, all right? I'm pretty sure as the season, this is gonna draw out to like five or six seasons automatically. Okay, so this is going to be one evolving uh, storyline, 
okay, with a bunch of backstories, all right? So that's how that's going to play out, all right? So this is going to go on for like maybe four, maybe five seasons, all right? And, uh, you know, they're going to interact with different people during the time on their journey, all right? Similar to the OG walking did when they were trying to find the cure. And there was like, they were doing that for like the first three or four seasons, all right? And then they started moving on to other storylines and other characters and, and involving. And I'm pretty sure that's what's going to transpire in um, uh, the Walking Dead Beyond Worlds. A whole new world. So, uh, yeah, so they're all on this journey. And uh, the guy uh, that's the guardian of the two girls, uh, you know, he has a friend and she's, and you know, she likes him, all right? I don't know if he knows that or not, but uh, he, uh, you know, she definitely likes him, all right? So now you got that going on. You got that dynamic that haven't been evolved yet. And to me, uh, all the characters are really not that interesting, in my opinion, all right? And um, you, they're, they're not characters that you want to follow, all right? Uh, and the story, the, the story, the main story is not believable in my opinion, even though this is a futuristic, a futuristic world. Okay. I understand all that, but it's not believable. All right. You just can't simply believe this stuff happens. All right. And, uh, but the storyline is the, 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 the main storyline I'm not a fan of, but when you look at the, the backstories with all the characters, th those are interesting. Those can keep you uh, watching it until you feel until you find out how this develops. And maybe when you find out how this is going or how this is going to ultimately develop, then you may say to yourself, oh, OK, then I'm probably going to watch the I'm probably going to be a fan of this. Here's why I don't see I'm going to be a huge fan of the, the Walking Dead Beyond World. Because none of the characters are iconic to me. None of the characters uh, I want to follow. And it was kind of similar to the Fear of the Walking Dead. Now, there were like two characters on the Fear of the Walking Dead I continued to watch to see how it developed. Okay. And I, I felt like the, the, the production team were was aware of the fear of the walking dead and now they they brought morgan into that universe and now and then they, they start bringing other characters to the og walking dead and now things are starting to get interesting with the walking dead okay and with the beyond worlds are they going to take that approach with them because i don't think this is going to be a real successful show I think this show is going to struggle in ratings. Uh, I think a lot of viewers can't identify to none of these characters just like I am. And the storyline has, we've been there and done that with that storyline, particularly in the Walking Dead universe. So are people going to be watching in to see how the other backstories develop? And, you know, like I said, it takes, a, it, it takes, some, it takes some good things like what Lost did. On, on their television show and how that show was very successful and maybe uh, putting that with uh, this show, those elements into that show, it might th make things interesting. But personally to me, I did not like it. I did not like it whatsoever. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot though. I'm gonna give it midway through the season and if I still feel the same way like I feel now, then I'm probably going to pass on this season, all right? So. Uh, yeah, that's my review on it. Uh, you know, and I'm pretty sure people are going to be in the comment section going to defend this. And it's going to be hardcore fanatic Walking Dead fans. And, and they should uh, fear, uh, 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 you know, uh, offend, I mean, defend it. Okay, they should. Okay, because, but the, the Beyond Worlds is nowhere near on the same par as the OG Walking Dead, which, by the way, they say this is going to be their final season. Or is it next year? It's one of those in 2021. That's probably going to be their final season. All right. And where are they are going to go to? Are they going to go to fear? Uh, well, most of those fans gravitate to fear anyway. 
They still got the novels. They still got the comic books, okay? Uh, and they, they got this movie coming on. They got this big production movie that's supposed to be, uh, de they're, they're developing. So that's going to be uh, interesting. And a lot of hardcore fans are going to gravitate to that. As well as Mas Mashona, I think she's going to have a mini series or a series that, I mean, because, uh, you, know, you know, you don't know how they're going to, uh, move forward with that character uh so and, and then you got the fear and then you got beyond words i think beyond words is mainly for the younger audience something that the younger audience can gravitate to and maybe uh that's the reason why uh i'm not you know a big fan of it because it gravitates more to younger viewers okay so maybe that's it but or may but maybe it's just bad writing i just don't I'm just not feeling it. I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling it. Anyway, I got to go. That's what I thought about it. Uh, guys, girls, uh, subscribe and enjoy. You will not be disappointed. Please hit the notification bell, okay? Because that helps my channel out. You just don't know how that's going to help my channel out. Hit the like or the dislike button and comment down below, okay? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too harsh on this. Maybe I'm totally wrong about this, okay? So, it's your boy. I'm about to hear deuces.